just want to welcome everyone to the Stacey A. Cross podcast show. <laughs> Whether you're listening now or later, it is always the perfect time. I am Stacy A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. 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 On all channels now, we are going live, live and direct, live and direct. Thank you. Great morning. I am Stacy A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. Let me show you something. Let me be the one to show you this book. They're all behind me, strategically placed. The Comfort Killer is Your Journey to Success. For those on the podcast world, you know the book, The Comfort Killer is Your Journey to Success, How to Change Your Life, using tools you already have, wrote this book. Uh, People have been saying, this is what people have been saying about this book. People said, Stacey, you're so practical. It's so usable. The information in it, holy shit, you actually outlined how to go from comfort to purpose because you've done it. You know, I'm not into the flim flam. I'm not here to joke with you. And I don't want to do it the way that everybody's been doing it. You know, because we've been taught to follow the crowd. We've been taught somewhere along the line, like it's okay to do what everyone else is doing because the wheel has already been invented. And in my previous post and information that you could always find on thecomfortkillers.com, we speak about reinventing the wheel because we spoke about the great folks of America and around the world that have reinvented the wheel. Today, I want to talk about cutting the umbilical cord off. You know, baby comes out. What's being tied to the mama? Being tied for food. Okay, all right, it's useful. This umbilical cord was useful coming out of the womb, all up out the placenta, okay? And we've been been attaching it to different things since we were kids. If you hear me shout, what one place do you think you've uh, kept the umbilical cord attached to? Barb, you can just shout it out. What one place you think you've, you kept the umbilical cord attached to, even though it's not needed anymore? Hmm. I always catch you off of guard. Yeah, because I was reading a message. What, what message were you reading? My supervisor. <laughs> See, you've been attached. You've, you, well, that's it. So you've attached your bil- umbilical cord to work. It's your pipeline. To being comfortable? To being comfortable. My umbilical cord was attached to people that I thought were, quote unquote, better than I. Because of, you know, let's say what they accomplished. Right now, I don't give a damn what anyone has done. All right? I'm pulling out the umbilical cord and actually pulling the wool from over, like, over my eyes. You know what I mean? We've remained, yeah. No longer serve us. Oh, hey guys, you're listening. If you hear it, you're listening to Barbara in the background. She she said it. You you're still connected to things that no longer serve you. Um, family, negative influences, and it's not just people. What kind of negative influences do you think? And you could type it here for those that are on uh, the beautiful Facebook. For those that are in the podcast land. Send me an email for, per, so for some exactness of what you think you have, you personally have your umbilical cord still attached to. Old habits. Oh, boom. Old habits no longer serving you. People. No growth in the job. Or yeah, like, well, here's the thing. We're, we're attached to the job itself. I, I cut the umbilical off. That was one of the scariest cuts. Right. Because... 
you know, when I don't know how many of you guys out here, or if anyone has gotten that uncomfortable where they decided to walk away from the cushy security of a nine to five of from a job. You know, I used to walk in there and things used to change. And I used to say, man, I'm working so hard on somebody else's dream. And I understand if you're still at your nine to five or at your employer because you need to earn capital or you're raising some young babies, I get it. Like, I'm not the one to be like, hey, listen, jump off that bridge. If you're not 100%, your mindset is not 100% ready for that because it is scary. The, The unknowingness of cutting the umbilical cord off of the employer is scary and it's not for the weak because you're not, you're out here and you don't know where the next thing is coming from. If you don't have that thing set up, right? Like I'm being real, like, you know, like it's, it's, it's fancy and it's, it looks good from other people. Oh, I left my nine to five and look at me now. What the Comfort Killers does and what I do, Stacey A. Cross, there's no E in my name, founder of the Comfort Killers, wrote this beautiful book, The Comfort Killers, Your Journey to Success, How to Change Your Life, Using Tools You Already Have. Who is this book for? It's for those that seek the next step, the next level. Those that seek clarity, you want some motivation, this book will motivate you. You want some, you want to overcome anything? Actually get laid out the steps here, how to overcome Anything without therapy, without meds. I'm big on that. You know, because here's the thing. I was afraid. I was ashamed. Like somebody said, hey, listen, you need to go to Gamblers Anonymous. I was like, I ain't going up in there. <laughs> Hi, my name is my ass. Okay, I'm not going. That was like a reality check. Re- I am not going up in there. Okay, just not doing it. So I decided, hey, let me let me change. But let's, talk, let's go back to the umbilical cord. Because we got it plugged in. We got it attached. As if we still need the food and nurturing from other people, places, and things. Um, Some people have it attached to their youth. They can't get over their past. You know, they can't get over their past. So today's episode, we are going to cut the umbilical cord. And we have a ceremony set up here on how to cut the umbilical cord and not give a flying boop. I need that. I need like little things like beep. Not give a flying For real of, you know, what we're afraid. Fear. Fear has got us. But like we said yesterday on the the podcast. Being comfortable. Well, that's the thing. We want to be, the the comfortable is known. Where you are is known. That's why it's comfortable. You know what to expect. You kind of know the ABCs of it. Uh, We're going to get uncomfortable. We're going to have a, sir, I wish I have a cake. Can we have a cake next time? I want to blow out the candle on this comfort thing. You know what I mean? Blow it out. Uh, so here's how we cut off our umbilical cord for the, you know, we got to cut it off for the family. The family are expecting two, two things. Like, like they, they fear two things. What do you think your family fears when you try to move forward and say, hey, Yo, I'm out of here. This is what I want to do. And it's not a part of the cycle, not a part of the cushion that was already created. And you're, you're attached by the umbilical. What, what was, is the one thing you think they fear? That you're going to fail. That you're going to fail. Okay. They fear that you're putting yourself in harm's way. Right. And it's fine. Like my mom, you know, Stacy, you better be careful in the girl. You see it odd times over there. You know, Jamaicans that listen to this, they be like, that bitch ain't Jamaican. <laughs> you know, that chick ain't Jamaican. All right. So they fear you in harm well, and they're fearing your failure. Are they fearing your failure, though? Think about it. Are they really fearing y- your failure? What do you think? Yeah. Or. Or are they fearing themselves, putting themselves as you and how they failed? Oh, true. They probably feel like they're not able to oh. keep, you know, their ability. Their own ability. They're throwing their own abilities, their own feelings, their own thing on you. That's 
That's very important. So they're not really afraid of you failing. They're putting their own failure on you. And the second reason here, guys, oh, this one's, this one is important. This one right here, the second reason uh, people fear two things and the reason why you got to cut your umbilical cord off family, friends, and all of this is because they actually fear that you will succeed. Think about that. (laughs) They're actually afraid that you will be overly successful, widely successful. That scares them. Mm -hmm. Think about it. They've tried, you know, and it's not their fault. It's society. Hey, listen, they've tried. They failed. They've been brought back to comfort. And now here you go. They're afraid that you are going to succeed. Shit. But then after you succeed, what happens? They love you, man. Right. Right. Very negative along the journey. And then- oh, and then all of a sudden, they're all for it. Call me. Call me, man. Call me. Right. See, my mom, she's give me, give me, give me right now. So I don't, she ain't changing up. <laughs> give me now. <laughs> give me later. <laughs> um, you know, working for others is very important. We got to cut the umbilical cord. But like I said, I'm not out here and I'm not, I'm not going to tell you it's, you have to have such a bulletproof mindset to jump off, to run off, to get the hell away. Okay. I did it. And I'm, te- I'm actually working on a webinar now. And the webinar is, uh, let me see if I have it. It's to discover the fastest route to your purpose and learn how to turn it into profit, you know, without wasting your time at weekend seminars or on expensive coaches. We had it. Bam. Boom. We had it. That, uh, that webinar is coming up. I'm actually getting that prepared to come out to you guys, uh, very soon. And you could, you know, just keep in touch on the comfortkillers.com. That's where, you know, I'm tired. I'm just freaking tired of people getting ran, ran through ran through the damn, you know, what is that? You know, where you put a spaghetti, you put the flour in and out comes spaghetti. That's who you are. Like, you know, I'm just tired of that. I want to give it to you you raw. Like, this is how you find your purpose. Okay. This is how to turn it into profits. You don't need to go every other weekend. I know some people that seminar hops, like the shit was going out of style. Get out of the damn seminar. Go do something. Okay. And if you don't learn from the first or second seminar, there's nothing the third or the fourth will teach you. you, Okay. And I'm not just saying, Hey, listen, you want to go to there to network. Great. All right. But just make sure you know who you are walking in there. All right. So the comfort killers, we're about about to change all of that. So if you want to work for others, great. You're raising capital. You're raising a young family. You're unable yet to, to jump off the bridge just totally like I did. That's fine. Um, but here's the thing. 100% discomfort. 100% discomfort. I am super uncomfortable. Especially, I gotta pay my rent. <laughs> I gotta pay the rent. Um, so... So the negative influences, the the influences, the naysayers, you got to cut your umbilical cord off for. So let us here have a um, ceremony for the cutting of the umbilical cord. And what I want to say is the song that I'm going to play for the cutting of the umbilical cord is this one. And this song is J-Rock. So it's not mine. And I want you guys to just cut off the umbilical cord, okay? Yo, cut it off, cut it off, cut it off, yo. Cut it off, cut it off, cut it off, yo. Uh, Win, 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 win. Fuck everything else. Okay, okay, enough, 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 enough for the ceremonies. So here's what you need to do. A, look about who's around you, negative influencers, naysayers, Are you working for others, but not working on your own self, not working on your own dreams, not working for something bigger, leaving a legacy behind, going all out there for the money, the moolah, it is your birthright. Hey, cut it off from your family if they ain't doing it right, okay? If they are throwing their own doubt on you, if they are throwing their own failure on you, cut off 
the umbilical cord, okay? It's very simple. Hey, I'm going to need this to be stopped right now, Barb. Hey, guys, that's today's show. Cut off the umbilical cord. Hope you learned something. If you found this valuable, go ahead and share it to a friend. Send it to your family. I don't care. Send it to them. Say, this is why I'm cutting the umbilical cord off of you because people fear two things. Seeing me successful and they want to keep me out of harm's way. But here's the thing. I made it now. I made it. I have to keep going forward. I have to keep going forward. Guys, email me, hello at thecomfortkillers.com. Remember, the new... The new, new and improved webinars coming out where I'm just, I just had it. I really had it. And this is why I'm giving you this thing here. Discovering the fastest route to your purpose and learn how to turn it into profits without wasting your damn weekends at seminars or your hard earned on expensive coaches. That is. That is the name of the game of the webinar. So hit me up, thecomfortkillers.com. And also the book is available now. Stacey A. Cross, The Comfort Killers, Your Journey to Success. To success. <laughs> success. How to change your life using tools you already have. I believe that everyone already has the tools within them. Uh, today I already I posted on thecomfortkillers.com. There's an article there that says the one trait that you'll need. There's only one trait that you'll need to become successful. Do you remember what that trait is? Don't talk. Go to thecomfortkillers.com. Read that. There's a video. It's about 30-minute video that I deliver to you. Go to that and get that. Cut the umbilical cord off, bro. Peace. I am Stacey A. Cross. There is no E in my name. Until next time. Thank you so much for listening to another episode of the Stacey A. Cross Show. If you've enjoyed this episode, do me a solid and share it out to your network. Share it out to someone who may need it. Also, subscribe and leave a review. This keeps us going and going and going. And as my mission is big, you're included in it. So head over to thecomfortkillers.com right now and be a part of our growing growing comfort killing movement i am stacy a cross there is no e in my name until next time